Well, here we go again. This is Call of Duty Black Ops 4 DLC number 3. Alpha Omega Zombies Map, etc, etc, etc. There's another Zombies Map, and you know what that means? It means there's another pack of punches to unlock, so let's just do this. The main objectives here are to turn on the power, which, uh, uh, duh, and then turn off the gas in the bunker. There's nothing here that you probably haven't already seen before in other zombie maps, so let's not waste any time. Let's just get going. This is the Alpha Omega Pack-A-Punch. This has gone off the rails. Brick! <laughs> Brick! <laughs> so to unlock Pack-A-Punch in this map, there's really only four steps. It's not too complicated. First thing you want to do is activate the power. Power is in the house at the end of the cul-de-sac. And that's basically where, if you've played uh, any of the Nuketown maps, that's where the actual fighting takes place. So, let's just go there and activate it. I do appreciate this map isn't a direct version of any of the maps, really, any of the previous versions of Nuketown. It seems to be kind of its own thing. It's a little bit of a combination of all of them. There's Nuketown sign, and here it is. This is the power room. Go in here, and there it is. Telltale switch, turn on the power. Boom, power on. All right, step one done. Next thing you need to do is head down into the bunker and activate the generator down there. Let's grab a gun first. I have something to show off. Yeah, it's blue energy this time. So, uh, anyone in the comments is going to explain to me what exactly is going on in that opening. I mean, I kind—I know the basic story. It seems like they're just showing flashes of stuff that happened previously. What does any of that have to do with what's happening here? I don't know. Anyway, here it is. Here's the entrance. There's two entrances. One in the yellow house backyard and one in the green house backyard. Those are both ways you can access the bunker. Now, when you turn on the generator, then a bunch more entrances will open. But for now, those are the two ways to get in. Let me repeat, the yellow house backyard and the green house backyard have entrances into the bunker. Now there's some gas around here, but just run through it, it won't hurt you at all. And more mannequins. And there's the pack a punch As you can see, it's like encased in glass, so you can't get it. Generator, turn off the gas, you need to turn on the generator. All right, here's the power. Enable that, and then that activates a lockdown sequence. So you have to fight off zombies for a little bit. This one is not as bad as other lockdown sequences have been in other Call of Duty games, because look at this, there's plenty of room to move around. I can smell this one coming from a mile These little uh, green gloopers are kind of annoying, but they're really not that bad. Gas just makes them stronger. Especially if you're cheating. We can just fast forward through this. If you've played one of these, you've played all of these. Okay, we're done. But, surprise, surprise, gas isn't completely vented, so we gotta vent the rest of the gas. Now, how do you do that? Well, if you've played this map at all, you probably know some big vents up in the houses. There's like one in every single house in the Nuketown map. So that's pretty much what you need to find. There's four of them, they're all gunked up, so you need to go and clear them. It's really obvious which houses have them because look at that. See the green gas coming out of that? All the, the nasty poo gas? That means that there's a vent that's all gunked up in it. Could be on the outside, could be on the inside, but it's gonna be attached to it some way. So all you have to do is go up to one of these and hold square to repair. Good thing about these, is that you can run away from them. They don't reset when you leave them. So you can go clear out the zombies. You know, make yourself scarce for a little bit. And then run back here and activate it until it turns green. Then you're good. All right, that's one down. So there's four of them. So all I have to do is run around, look for a house spewing some, uh, some poo gas. And yeah, I, I, you know what? I haven't made that many poo gas references, so I'm okay. I'm allowed to make poo gas references. 
And that means we'll have to walk through duty water. Not one of the best friends here. Man, that's an old reference at this point. Ugh. Now I'm sad. Anyway, let's turn these vents. Yeah, that post-millennial blues. All you have to do, turn some vents. That'll make you happy, right? Okay, that's two. There's another one. These will appear in a couple different spots. They don't necessarily appear in these specific houses. Because there's actually more than four around the map. But you'll know where to find them, depending on which house is spewing gas. <laughs> There's the next one over there. See, it's really obvious which one it is. So, as long as you know what to look for, then it's really no problem. This is a fairly open map. The problem with it is just that they close a lot of the connecting sectors. But a lot of the areas are connected. Once you start opening everything up, then it's really easy to get around this map. It's not like some of the other ones where you really have to, where they kind of funnel you down specific corridors. This one has a lot of different entrances and exits to all the buildings. So let's find the next one. There it is. All right, just turn that sucker. And there you go. From that point, there's nothing else you really have to do. Just a run back down to the packet punch and you're set. That's it. Obviously, there's a lot more going on, on this map. That's not the only thing. In fact, uh, at this point, the teleporters don't even work. You can't use the fast travel in this map yet. So there's more that has to be done to be able to unlock the full potential of what you can do in this map. But for now, I just wanted to show how to get the packet punch and I'll do some more stuff, weird stuff later. There we go. Guns. I think, I think you know how uh, the Pack-A-Punch works at this point, but it charges up your guns. <laughs> I don't know why you'd watch this video if you didn't know what a Pack-A-Punch was. Especially if you got the third DLC for a Call of Duty game. I think you know what you're getting into at this point. <laughs> but, I mean, this is going to be the last one. The next Call of Duty, the uh, Modern Warfare reboot, remaster, redo, is... Uh, it's not going to have zombies, so... That's it for zombies for at least one year. <laughs> Let's see how long that lasts, I guess. Then again, Treyarch might still be pumping out zombie maps like they did with uh, the Black Ops 3 zombie map remasters. Maybe it'll be just as many zombie maps as before. Who knows? Anyway, that's it for how you get the Pack-A-Punch in this one. It's very simple. All you have to do is activate power, go down to the bunker, turn on the generator, and then hit four valves at the end. That's all there is to it. There's always more fun stuff to explore on these Call of Duty zombies maps. So I'm just going to keep at it. I'll see you next time. Take it easy. And out the left is something very special. Where? I don't see anything. Booga, booga, booga! Ah!